Hi, uh, in continuation to the previous video on DBT tutorial, so I'm going to talk about a transaction control commands under DB2. So far, you have seen a different uh, various queries like uh, under D, uh, DML and DDL. So under DDML, we have covered about create, alter, and uh, update so now you are going to see and uh, you and also you have seen about uh, dml commands like uh, insert update delete and uh, select queries right so transactional command transaction control commands is another way different commands under sql uh, so commit and roll back what is a commit commit it means uh, so earlier you have seen like you have deleted few records and if you want to save it permanently so by having a commit command placed at the end of all the transactions whatever the operations you have performed either using query or using an application program once you type it as a commit so it will save the data permanently roll back by mistake you have deleted some specific record and you want it to roll back uh, roll back that specific records then you can uh, use a uh, rollback command so this ro this command specifically will ignore or undo uh, the transactions which are performed during the session which are not committed so make sure that those commands are those uh, transactions are not committed then only the rollback will work Okay. and you also have uh, the option called save band uh, save point where you can divide the transactions into sessions or groups by using the save point option also so for now you can understand like commit and rollback uh, or like uh, transaction control commands mm, these are specifically affected to the DML transactions okay thank you so much for watching this video I'll be coming up with a lot of videos on db2 so stay tuned to my youtube channel thank you have a great and pleasureful day